Number five, what is the speed of light in water and in glycerine? By the way, great song by Bush. Great song. And let the days go by glycerine. I might be able to stand in for him, right? Anyway, okay, now that that was thoroughly embarrassing. Here we go. Formula down here. Index of refraction is going to be equal to the speed of light divided by the velocity. Now, here's the thing. The index of refraction is simply a ratio. It's simply the ratio between the speed of light in a vacuum and then the speed of that same light in a different medium other than a vacuum. Okay? So if I want to know the speed of light in water, then I need to know the index of refraction of water. Okay? Now, find the velocity. Just simply cross-multiply. Right? They're using speed and velocity as interchangeably here, and that's basically okay. So the velocity of the water is then equal to the speed of light in a vacuum, which is uh, close enough to 3 times 10 to the 8. Then what we, what we need to do is we need to look up the uh, index of refraction for water. All right? So you go to your table, right? and you're going to find water. Here's a liquid, and we find water. Here's fresh water, 1.333. While we're at it, there's glycerin, right? 1.473. Okay? So 1.333. All right, so let's go back. I'm going to plug that value in now. 1.333. Take out the calculator and do the calculation. 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 1.333. And this works out to be about 2.25 times 10 to the... Uh, this should be to the 8th, okay? And that's going to be in meters per second. Now, we can do the same thing for glycerine. So this is going to be the velocity in glycerin, or glycerine, whatever, is equal to C over the index of refraction of that medium. This is going to be 3 times 10 to the 8. What was the value of glycerin again? 1.473? Well, since I can't remember anything anymore, it was, yeah, okay, good, all right. 1.473. So this is 1.473. And then here we go. So 3 times 10 to the 8 divided by 1.473. And now we get about 2.04, 2.04 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And that's that. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope that helps. Check out some more of our videos. If you're taking pre-calculus or chemistry, we also got other solved solutions out there for you, specifically from the OpenStax books. But that does not mean, if you're using a different textbook, that it doesn't have value to you. The questions basically in chemistry and pre-calculus and here in physics are basically very much the same amongst different textbooks. So if you're having a specific problem, download one of the OpenStax books, find a similar problem, and watch the video, and you'll be able to figure it out. Take care.